Welcome to this video on dogwood metal sculpture. When the dogwood blooms, I really look forward to that. Because it seems like when it comes into bloom, everything is new and fresh. And it's a brand new year. But making the dogwood sculptures is not that easy. So I'll be taking you through each of the steps that I use to make the dogwood sculptures. Now the first thing I want to do is to make a dogwood pattern. And I lay that down there so you can see. Almost looks, since I do so many bicycles, it almost looks like a bicycle seat. So I did one of those. I'll put it up here on my grocery sack. Okay. A little rough right there, but get the idea. Now I want to cut this pattern out. Now I want to transfer this pattern to a piece of copper. Could be any metal. Just you want something kind of thin to it's fairly easy to cut and yet has some stiffness to it. So I'm just going to go around with this felt marker and mark this out. Now that I have the permanent pattern, I drew one out on a piece of copper and one on a piece of brass. But the important thing is, is that I have a permanent pattern that I can keep in my pattern drawer. This old piece of sweatshirt, two of four. Chisel that I've shown in a number of videos. I weld it onto a handle for veining. Now that these are cleaned up, made a few extra here, you can see I've did some folding on this one. And it adds to the dimension. And it has more depth to it. And to do that, fold it like that. Fold these edges over somewhat. Bring them up a little bit towards the center. And now this is a dogwood leaf. And I made a pattern. And if you'll notice this line going right down through here, I like to make half patterns. Then I could flip it over and then so it's somewhat symmetrical then. Then I transferred that to a piece of copper and came up with a permanent pattern. This is a two before and I've burnt a groove in the two before. I'm going to line the leaf up to that groove. Put this one eighth inch rod right on top there. See what a nice groove that makes. That comes through on the other side. Incidentally, I kneeled these leaves so that they would be very soft. So far, we spent a lot of time doing just prep work, getting the parts assembled. Now we're going to start making some pieces. This is just a small example. This is a small dogwood piece, nice little wall sculpture. 
but we're going to do this and then we're going to go into some larger pieces.